We've been dancing around this subject too long, okay? I've been reading your comments. I can't get to everybody. I try to say a few words here and there when I can. I do read them though, okay? And it looks like everybody is finally willing to come out and address the real problem, all right? We touch on it. We dance around the problem. We talk about new sketchbooks. We talk about having too many colors. We talk about tweaking. We talk about all these things. But I think what really what it breaks down to is a bigger problem. Art supply hoarding. Okay, the hoarding of art supplies is defined by Webster's Dictionary as I don't know. But the reality is, you're laughing at me. It's true. There should be a definition in there because it's a real thing. I think that everybody hoards art supplies for different reasons that, 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 that do hoard the art supplies. For me, the reason is I feel like whenever I'm sitting down to do an art project, because I, I do get inspired to do all kinds of different things, there's always a point in the project where I'm like, <clears throat> I wish that I had fill in the blank. Uh, it could be a, an opaque white marker, or I wish that I had a thicker watercolor paper. And for me, it's really easy. I just drive down to our store and I'm like, hey, throw it in the bag. And they're like, ugh. So listen, it's, it's something that I can't take too much advantage of because we're trying to stay in business. So the, the bottom line is art supply hoarding is a real thing. That might not be the reason you do it. You might have just like, hey, sketchbooks are pretty and I think that pencils look nice decoratively. Whatever your reasons are, let me know below. Let everybody know. We're gonna talk about it, okay? We're gonna talk this thing out. Now for me, you'd think I'd come up here and be like, hey, hoard away. But I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel that way. I don't feel like art supply hoarding is really the answer. I think the answer is finding a way to use the supplies you have and being okay with that because otherwise, it's just collecting dust, and, and I don't think that that's very functional, or feng shui. Feng shui. It's not very functuational. I want, want you to copyright that. Let's just talk about a few things that I do with my art supply hoarding to make sure that I don't get overwhelmed by too much stuff because whether it's in my office, or it's, it's in my house, or it's in my uh, guest room, I mean, like, there's art supplies coming out of my ears. So, if you're an art supply hoarder, and you want to actually use these art supplies, I would suggest just knowing where everything is and making sure that you get an opportunity to get it easily if you want it. So really simply, these are just some things I brought from my house to show you. This box right here is filled with stuff I use for artist journaling, plain and simple. I keep stuff in here when I wanna do artist journaling, I reach for this art port and then I got everything I need that I wanna do for my artist journaling. You can do things decoratively. You can, you can put things out in little mason jars and, and just make them available to you. It's like a, it's like a reed diffuser. You, know, you can fill it with oil and then you have some kind of you know, apple scented pencils. I don't know what that would do to your art, but it might smell nice because they're basically just big sticks of wood. And finally, uh, over here, I have this case where I use to hold my markers. I like this case because from farther away or even up close, anywhere it's see-through, I can see what's in it. Isn't that nice? Isn't it nice to know what's in a box? Uh, and because it's art supplies, I think that they look cool, okay? Art supplies can look cool, right? I'm hanging on the wall. I should make art with them and hang the art on the wall, but you know, sometimes you get really lazy and just hang the art supplies on the wall. So organizing, you know, and I've got, you know, pens in here, um, you know, colored, colored markers, all kinds of different stuff. But then the last thing I'll show you is just a, a little travel kit I put together. I, I went through all this stuff I had rambling through my drawers and I just put together something and I'm like, okay, I can throw this in my bag and go. And real quick, I'll just show you a rag, okay? I used to keep paper towels, but I don't know. I just feel kind of wasteful. What are you gonna do? Watercolor set, okay? Little, little guy here. Pad of paper, obviously, watercolor, that's a multimedia paper. And then lastly, a pencil, a pencil, an eraser. This is actually a pencil, this is a, the, the shorty pencil. So I like this because you don't need a sharpener. Isn't that nice? And it all fits nicely in this little bag here that I got. And, and that's it, and I'll bring this with me and I make it small enough so that I can take it with me without it being too much of inconvenience and I try to just keep it where I am. That's it, just making the art supplies that you have around you more functional. And if you find that you have some things that you just don't use anymore because either you, I don't know, thought that you'd be into encaustics and you didn't get into it or now you live in a different space and it's not as well ventilated for your oil paints, 
if you don't plan on using it, there's plenty of people out there that would love art supplies. So if it's not being used uh, and you don't ever think you're going to use it, share the wealth. Let more people do art. I think that's kind of the message here. That's why it's more important to me that rather than hoarding the art supplies, which, yeah, I mean, we like to people to buy art supplies at Jerry's, but I, just personally to me, I think that it's a better thing to buy the art supplies and use them than to just hold on to them. It's, it's a, it would be as, to hold on to them is as silly as putting the art supplies on the wall instead of the art. And a pencil has potential art energy, but if you put it to use, it's kinetic art energy, and that's magic. So art supply hoarding, it's a real thing. If you're not an art supply hoarder, don't make fun of those of us that do. We have our reasons. And if you have a reason that you hoard art supplies or how you do or how you cope, let it down, put the comments below, and let's all talk about it because that's what this is about. This is a forum for people to share their crazy. And I've left way too much on this table. Clean it up. I'm just kidding. What's in my box is a secret for now. My secret box. In the unrated version, I open my box and show you what's inside. <laughs>